Let's just fucking get this over with. I hate both Dune movies and the book, and the first movie didn't deserve its Best Picture nomination, and most of its six wins. Now that I've signed my death warrant, let's talk about the story of this crappy-ass piece of movie. The film follows Paul Atreides, the heir to the throne of the Duke of the House Atreides. His father, Leto, is the current Duke. His mother, Jessica, is part of this group called the Bean Gesserus. What is the Bean Gesserus? I don't know. Look it up. I don't care. They are chosen to become the new rulers of Arrakis, the desert planet, home of the Fremen, Freeman, whatever you want to call them. The previous rulers, House Harkonnen, aren't too overjoyed about something they controlled being taken away from them so suddenly. America be like, huh? So, in an act of revenge, well-deserved revenge, probably most likely, I don't know, they invade and take it back, killing Lisa and causing Jessica and Paul to run away into the desert. Turns out this whole thing was planned from the beginning, as the Emperor saw the House of Trades as weak. Oh, wait, sorry, that explanation is saved for the second film, which we'll get to in time. So Jessica and Paul plan to venture out into the desert in order to find the Fremen and take back the throne from the Harkonnens. If you're wondering why... S no, that's for later. Oh boy, where do I begin? I think I should start with positives. The effects are good, for the most part. The music is fine, except when it's not. The cinematography is stunning, and the editing is expertly done. <sighs> okay, that's all the stuff I like. I bet you're wondering why I am sound so bored during this review. It's not because I'm tired. It's because I'm delivering the same amount of enthusiasm as the cast of this movie. Yeah, my first criticism of this movie is that the acting is incredibly stilted and lifeless. Everyone in this movie looks incredibly bored and dead inside. Don't you chuckle say in the comments say that this is meant to show the horrific moments that happen in the second half of the movie. Good movies are three hours. No, no to have the characters to have, oh, I don't know. Personality, charisma, energy. I've seen Arrival from 2016. The direction of that movie is much better, which is shocking, considering the fact that both of these movies were directed by the exact same person, Denis Villeneuve. That's how you pronounce him, I think. I don't know, I'm just going off by Schaefer Ellis. He's an incredibly talented director. He also made Blade Runner 2049 and Prisoners. So why did his skills not apply to this movie? What went wrong? I'll tell you what went wrong. He had to direct... Dune. You see, the book that this film was based on is one of the most boring, drawn-out books you will ever read. And in case you're wondering, yes, I have read the book. I can safely say with full confidence that it is the worst book I've ever read in my entire life. I haven't read many books, which only makes it easier to pinpoint which one I hated reading the absolute most. The only other book I hated re reading as much as this was Artemis Fowl, but at least that piece of crap had an interesting setting, setting, even if it was horribly developed. Dune has such an overtly convoluted and underdeveloped world. Now I bet you're wondering, why did you read the book? If you hated the movie so much, I'll tell you why. On the 13th of November, 2021, I went to see this film in the cinema. I hated it. If you don't believe me, boom, here's the photographic evidence to prove so. This is an actual photo I took while in the cinema watching Dune Part 1. Oh look, it even says the date, 31st of November, 2021. Like I said, and I took this photo at 1.16pm, and a caption? Yeah, that movie sucks. That's a good caption to push. 
So after watching the movie and reading the book, I felt it was obligatory to not only watch the second part when it comes out to cinemas, but also read the book as well. And honestly, it's like really bad. So boring and dull and stupid and dull and annoying and stupid and all the adjectives in the world that are related to stupid. It was a really bad book. I don't recommend it. It's really boring and bad, which is funny to say because I've read Gaijin by James Clavel, which is 1500 pages. So get on my level. Huh. So yeah, as I said, the acting is very bad. I think the worst performance by far was Paul, played by Timothy Chalamet. I'm sure he was great in other movies, but he was severely miscast in this movie. Whenever he shouts, he sounds like a completely different person than when he's whispering. Oh, did I mention that people mainly whisper in this movie? It's like they combine the stilted performances of M. Night Shyamalan and the constant whisper talk of Alien 3. It's a horrible combination of unprofessionalism. Let's move on to the characters. Oh boy, the characters! Where do I begin? Well, I can start by saying that the characters have no personality, aren't interesting, likeable, or identifiable, and don't create any sense of an, of an idea that these characters like each other. The characters can't feel anything. Why? Because we need to constantly, CONSTANTLY shove exposition down the audience's throats. Because I guess that's more interesting than actual character moments or like ability. Did I mention that I hate this movie? I did? Well, I'm gonna say it again. I f***ing hate this piece of movie. It's such a boring movie that doesn't understand basic human emotion whatsoever. I can't <sighs> Come on. Can you see the problem with reviewing bad movies? I'm going to be arrested by the neighbors for screaming too much. Sure, what the hell am I complaining about this? I'll, I'll gladly have the habit so I don't have to review this movie anymore. Can you see the problem with this now? Can you see it? No? Fine. You're just gonna be defending this movie anyway. Everyone defended, even the Academy defended it. They gave it a Best Picture nomination, and they gave the award to Hans Zimmer, and they didn't even show it live. Because, you know, it's the Academy. When, when do they care about movies? Anyways, what about the pacing? Oh, it's crap, thanks for asking. The Godfather Part 2, it's 3 hours and 20 minutes. And it feels shorter. Why? Because as I mentioned before, the characters in that film are interesting. But in this film, it's so boring. The characters are so boring. So we don't get attached to them. Meaning that there's no stakes. And we don't care about anything that happens to them. I never cared about anything that happened throughout this 2 hour and 35 minute film. Actually no, Godfather 2 isn't a good example. I mean it is, but I got a better example. Ben ing her is a three and a half ing hour long movie and it feels shorter than this two hour and 35 minute motion picture quote unquote epic movie christ epic movie will probably be better than the oh, actually i take that back epic movie is probably much worse but that's how much i hate this movie it made me say something that i don't actually mean you, Denny Villeneuve, you, Eric Roth, and you, Frank Herbert. By the way, no disrespect to his family, he died too young. Rest, rest in peace. Anyway, the movie sucks. Almost everything about this movie sucks so much. The characters, the performances, the story, the pacing, it's all awful. It's all wrong. This is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. 3.5 out of 10. If you like Doom, that's fine. I don't really care. Anyways, can't review can't wait to review the second film. <laughs> Kill me.